Hey guys, Lex here, and I've got another video for you guys today, and this one's a bit of a different video. I'm going to have a mint, just since we're here. Triple X, basically the poor man's version of Treb of Extra Strong, so. Mm-hmm, delicious. So, actually I'm going to talk about a little topic today that I really just want to go off my chest, and it's not going to be a fragrance frustration. I mentioned this in one of my fragrance frustration videos. And when I say mentioned it, it was more along the lines of Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Who the fuck are you kidding? Oh my god! But um, all joking aside, no comedy, no humour, you can see I'm not, you know, very well cut. I've got my shitty, my casual shirt with the fucking holes in it and stuff, and shit spilled down it, <laughs> I've got my casual one on. So, today is about Chanel. And you guys probably know, oh, Lex loves Chanel, he gives them great reviews, he talks about them all the time, and... Yeah, they have some great sense, they're a great company, well, at least they were a great company in, in my book anyway. Till, this is something that's actually happened a while back, and a few of you probably heard about it, a few of you might not have, but before we get started, I'd just like to show you some bottles of mine from Chanel. So we're going to start with this one here, this is Pro Monsieur, Eau de Toilette Concentrée, as you can see, Pro Monsieur Concentrée, and as you can see very clearly, it says Eau de Toilette Concentrée, now these are all original bottles, they're not the latest versions. And next up I have this one here, a Louis Vuitton Edition Blanche, and as you can see on the bottom it's very there, clear as day, Eau de Toilette Concentrée. Now I'm not sure about this one, I couldn't get much information on the website, but this is a Louis Vuitton Sport Eau Extreme 2012 bottle, my first Chanel I ever bought back in 2012 when it first came out, Eau de Toilette Concentrée. Now a few of you by this point already know what I'm referring to, and a few of you might not. The reason I'm showing you these bottles is because if you go on the Chanel website, which I checked today just to make sure this information is still accurate, these three fragrances are listed as Eau de Parfum. Now this one here I'm not sure about, it's listed as Extreme Spray, but I've heard rumours that this one's also being changed to Eau de Parfum. But anyway, so you're thinking, what's, what's, what's bad about that? It's Eau de Parfum, they must have improved it, right? You know, made it stronger, made it a bit more rich, but the thing is, they haven't. In fact, I was looking on for Grand Can do a bit of research and Chanel been fucking people around. So some people have been asking questions and they've been pamming them off. So a while back, um again, I'm sure a few of you may have been posting this, I sent them an email. I said I'm very, I I you know I'm an avid collector, I review your fragrances, I own most of the men's line, and I'm very curious about these eau oh, de parfums. I'm thinking of buying them, but I'm just curious are they the same thing? Because I'd hate to buy that. I mean, I really fucking milked it with this email, you know. I was giving it big licks um, to sort of get an answer here. You know, basically, I'm a great customer. I spend a fucking fortune on your products. I don't want to buy something I already have. And they, I, literally, I don't have the picture now, but you can check it in my fragrance frustration, the Parfum Craze video. Um, I've got the email on that. And they basically said to me, Hi, we can confirm that it's just a relabeling the fragrance is the same. So it's not a big deal, right? Ah, okay, it's a relabeling. Let's just think about who's doing the relabeling here. Now, just to overcomplicate things a little bit, here comes this guy. This is Blue de Chanel, and as you can see here, there's two versions of Blue de Chanel. There's the original, and there's the Eau de Parfum there. Cleave as day, Eau de Parfum. Now, doesn't seem like a big deal, but the thing is, Blue de Chanel is very, very clearly listed. Eau de Toilette, Eau de Parfum as separate. Okay? So, Okay, I'll just go have a sniff of this here because I love this stuff. I'm going to put some on my arm just for. Oh, yeah. I'm like a walking fragrance store today. I've got like intense cafe, edition blanche there, and fuck knows what else. Fahrenheit from my earlier review. But anyway, just think of it. Chanel have got a great history. It's a company. I mean, I can tell you why Chanel are great in, in three words Chanel number five. I mean,. I know people go on a Coco Chanel stole it from a Jewish family, wouldn't fucking surprise me, but it doesn't matter. The point is, that fragrance is associated with Chanel. That is their, their main thing that got them started. And there's great Coco Mademoiselle, the original Allure, Antaeus, you know, the original Paul Masseur, Egoist, the list goes on. They're a very good brand. So I just can't ask myself, why is this brand, who's been around for years, decades, man, Ruining their fucking image. Now, it doesn't seem like a big deal again. Oh, it's just a relabeling, Lex. Why are you getting so up about it? But the point is, this is one of the finest companies in the world. That's like the equivalent of Mercedes 
saying, oh, here's our new Mercedes-Benz Turbo. But it wasn't. It was just the S-Class or something that they just renamed Turbo. What would you think of that if Mercedes done that? Or Ferrari was like, oh, here's our new car, and it was the exact same as last year's model, but they rebranded it as a new thing? What would people say to that? Let's say Jeremy Clarkson and, and Fifth in the, the, the Top Gear team. What would they say to that? Hmm? What would they say if they had about that? Would they be like, oh, great car? Would they just be like, fucking sort your act out, Ferrari? They'd be telling Ferrari to fucking <laughs> sort it. So, yeah, I mean, Chanel, they've been around for decades doing great stuff, and I don't know why in the last, like, two years I've just decided to let their brand image go, boo! I mean, what are you doing, Chanel? I mean, fucking, really? Like, <sighs> come on, man. So I was going to do a Fugans frustration just on this, but I thought, you know what, this topic annoys me too much. I might do a funny Fugans frustration just to sort of lighten the mood, but really, it just irritates me, and it really irritates me. And a lot of things, I let a lot of things pass. You guys know I don't like Creed, I don't like the, the fucking Jack Bogart reformulations and stuff, and most likely the Lapidus will be getting reformulated and all that crap. I don't like that. And Bogart or the few companies out there that told the IFA way to fuck off. But just remember that Chanel number no. 5 got reformulated. And just think about this for a second. Chanel number no. 5, when it got reformulated, made the papers, okay? It was that much of a big fucking deal. The papers reported it. So, and it was in the front pages of some of them. It was a big fucking deal. Think about the sort of stuff that papers report. Kidnappings. Murders. Stabbings, riots, fucking wars. If Wall Street goes bankrupt, you know? Stuff like 9-11, that sort of shit. Important stuff that fucking affects people gets posted in the papers. And the reformulation of Chanel number no. 5 was made the fucking papers. So, why is it made the papers? Why is it a big deal? Because Chanel, you know? If Mercedes brought up a, a, new, a new Benz that was 50 grand retail price and the brakes were dodgy, or the engine fucked up, or the seat belts didn't work and people got injured. That would be in the papers, Mercedes made a fuck up, whoa! So think about that for a second. Number 5's reformulation made the papers. So that obviously means that people get a bit shocked when a company like Chanel makes such a fuck up. And this same company is now taking these and changing them to Eau de Parfum. Now, in my freaking station video, someone commented with bitching and moaning, oh, Eau de Toilette Concentrate is basically the same as Eau de Parfum. Okay then, then why do they need to change it? It's basically the same? Okay, cool, no issue. Why would they spend money, I mean, to do a campaign, why would they spend money getting paying someone to redesign the bottles? Why would they fucking spend, you know, there's going to be admin fees and costs involved in changing these bottles? You know, there's going to be having someone step in, stop, change, start again. So why would they do that? Why would they go all that effort? A company like Chanel. It's a fucking joke. And I hate to say this, but I don't see myself buying an R Chanel product. Let me clarify that actually. I won't buy an R Chanel product from Chanel. I won't be going to a Chanel boutique and buying them. If someone in like Facebook or someone on YouTube messages me saying, look, I've got a half bottle, I've got a brand new bottle that I don't need, uh, you won one or it was a giveaway, I'll happily, I'll buy it off you, no problem. Because you're getting the money, not Chanel. I refuse to give them the money. And I just do not like this. I don't like the fact, oh, we'll just rebrand it. Oh, oh, the par fam, they don't know any better. But Chanel number no. 5, when it changed, made the papers. Okay, a perfume reformulation from Chanel made the papers. Okay? So people are fucking shot Chanel. They're one of the best. They're, they're prestige. Why are they doing this? Yeah? Eau de Toilette Concentrate, I mean you saw it here clear as day, if you go on the Chanel website, it will say Eau de Parfum for the same product. Uh, what the fuck? Why would you change that? Chanel, this is Chanel. Why the fuck would they do that? Like I said, just imagine Mercedes brought out another car and it was the exact same models last year's but they rebranded it. What would people say to that? Hmm? People would go fucking ape shit. And it bothers me because I was posting that email in groups. And people will still be oh, that's, it's the different fragrance. I was posting the email on faking troops and videos and fucking everyone was like, oh no, that's not true. And then a fucking few months later, surprise, surprise, it's on the fucking website. Who was right all along? What a fucking surprise. I'm not trying to go, I was right, you were all wrong. It has anything to do with what this video is about. It's to do with the fact that this fucking company 
or just everyone worships them and this and in the last like two three years they've just went and this is just the last fucking straw man these are lure flankers i love allure flankers but i'm just you know blue de chanel the parfum's nice and all but i really yeah i try to modernize it but this eau de parfum thing is just the last fucking straw and I haven't bought a Chanel product since this. This is the last Chanel I ever bought, and it was last year. And I won't be buying another one. You know, not even the private line. You know, again, may buy them off someone else, but I'm just at the point where if I do buy them, maybe a discount to it online, but it will not be through a Chanel boutique. I'm not giving them the money, and I'm just, I just don't fucking like it. I just don't fucking like that they're rebranding this. And I know you all always say, "Oh, big deal, Lex," or "So what?" It's the product you care about. But the fucking point is, the people who are doing that are getting money because people like me will buy it. I will happily buy it off someone in the group or a, re a, a, a fucking discount of someone, but sh I'm not buying it in the Chanel boutiques. Okay? So they get a fragrance that's mind-blowing and it's amazing. And I really want it. Sure, I'll get it, but not from the Chanel boutiques. Because this rebranding shit is a joke. I'd expect it from some sleazy brand. I'd expect it from fucking Jean-Paul Gaultier. Not fucking Chanel, not the people who made Antaes, Chanel number no. 5, Coco Mademoiselle, fucking these poor monsieur, the original Allure, fucking Egoist, Platinum Egoist. The list goes on. I do not expect that shit from a company like that. And it's a fucking joke. And everyone seems to be all cool about it. Well, you shouldn't be fucking cool about it. You should not. That's why this sort of shit goes on, because people are like, oh, so what? If people fucking said, no, fuck off, I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not, I'm not fucking, I'm not selling for that. I'm not spending my hard on money to be fucking lied to. That's why companies let us get away with it, because, the, you know, oh, but would they know? I'm serious, fuck Chanel. I'm going to come out and say it, fuck them. They, they, they fucking think they can get away with it. They think they run the fucking world, and they don't. Fuck them.